you okay? <laughs> Okay, meeting is now live on Facebook. Okay, so I realize I already did a video today, but for my 50th out of 100 live videos, um, I thought tonight was worth reflecting on because uh, tonight was parent-teacher conferences, and this was the first time in my 10 year years as a teacher that I was booked solid. I did not have a single free space. So I was freaking out at first because um, each parent gets like seven minutes and there's no time in between, but every parent was on time. Every parent came, multiple parents in some cases, and I didn't get behind at all. I stayed on track and it went perfectly. I had 30 different conferences tonight. And I'm booked solid next week too. This has never happened before. And these were Zoom conferences. And I always have like euphoria at the end of parent-teacher conferences. For one thing, you're done. You're like, oh, I made it. But tonight was extra special because we were able to reflect and be real person to person and relate to one another about this weird time and only one student wasn't doing well all the others of those 30 had a's so those are always fun conferences to have because i don't know if you, at you as a parent has ever come to a, a conference with a teacher of a student that has an a i mean all that we do is just gush over how wonderful your student is and really the only thing that i brought up as being any kind of derogatory or negative thing was that they didn't turn their cameras on. And I even talked to them about that. Like the, my main concern this semester is socialization. And the fact that as an elective teacher, I am very, very aware that there is more to school than academics. And for students to be sitting in one spot, for five hours looking at a computer screen that does not replace friendships that does not um, you know it doesn't even take into account micro breaks like usually from moving from one place to another um, it creates like you know a little bit of a break in your day and your and your, and your time what you can do so like I don't know yeah usually the bell rings and they have five minutes to go to the next class and they see their friends and then they get to like um hang out and they they're missing that this semester and i'm missing that and you know i even told my parents that i'm like yeah i asked them to turn their cameras on because i go all day without seeing anybody and some of them were like oh yeah i'll definitely talk to him about that because i expect him to have his camera on otherwise how do you know he's there and da 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 but um all the parents seem so nice i always feel so good after parent teacher conferences it's just like it's like a I don't know what it's like, <laughs> but I definitely feel good because you've, you've done your job and you've met with the parents that are able to meet with you and you follow up through email with the ones that you can't. And uh, I don't know, I just feel on top of things this semester. Like I'm finally able to grade on time and have grades done and not just have grades done, but give good feedback, you know, feedback that will result in improved learning and students that go above and beyond and, and my students I, t I told the parents every single parent like these students are doing well in spite of these technological hurt hurdles you know maybe even because of them because in a, in a regular class period a regular class year semester they're going to come into class and i set up an arrangement and they all have 20 different views of the exact same thing because kids can be lazy <laughs> but now they're at home, they're, they can go wherever they want. And a lot of these parents have been involved in the picture taking. And one of them was like, oh, my student, he, you know, I try and give him advice and he's like, no mom, I know how to do it, leave me alone. Um, and then others, the parents were like, oh yeah, I remember we, I took her there, you know, and she went to the zoo with her sisters. There's a beautiful picture of the zebra, like close up, you saw the face, you saw the, the, the foot. <laughs> and she's like, 
And that was just such a wonderful memory for me because all three of them were getting along so well and they, they enjoyed this, this moment, this, this trip to the zoo. And, and to me, that's what my job, that's what my, my field is all about, is about allowing students to have fun, but also allowing them to express themselves creatively. We need that right now. They need an outlet. This hopefully is, and every single parent, every single parent ended the class or ended the, the session by saying, my student enjoys having your class so much. They love you. You're the best teacher they have. They say, you're the most laid back. They absolutely love taking pictures. Every single parent, every single parent said the exact same thing. And it was just like everything that my heart needed just to realize that I'm doing, I'm doing okay. And I'm, and my students are doing okay. And not just that, they're doing, they're doing great. And Maybe it's because of my class. Maybe it's in spite of my class. I don't know, but they're feeling fulfilled and their parents are seeing that and they're appreciating that. And maybe that's why I didn't have any free spaces tonight because the parents just wanted to come and, and meet me and express that to me, that, that, that my class is giving their, their child a sense of purpose right now in, this, in, these, in these awful times. <laughs> and one, one parent even pointed out, she's like, Kids are resilient. You know, they are dealing with this better than we are because like parents, we have a lot to compare to and we know when times were better and we, were, but they don't necessarily know any different. I mean, they, they do, but they, they accept things. They're flexible. Kids like learn as they go and they grow and they see adventure and, and everything, you know, and they can play with a stick. They can, they can have fun with a stick, <laughs> you know, or a camera. So anyway, this, I thought this would be, a good time to mark my 50th out of 100 videos because I'm doing something right and it feels really, really good. So have a good night, everybody. I'm, I'm tired. Come on, George, you ready to go? Yeah, he's ready to go. <laughs> Me too. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.